Hollywood couple Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis have issued a joint apology for providing character references to former co-star Danny Masterson, who was recently sentenced to 30 years in prison for rape. Both Kutcher and Kunis had written letters of support for Masterson before his sentencing, which had garnered criticism. In their letters, Kutcher referred to Masterson as a role model, while Kunis praised his exceptional character. In an Instagram video, Kutcher and Kunis expressed regret for any hurt their actions may have caused. Kutcher acknowledged the pain caused by their character letters, stating, We are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Masterson. Kunis emphasized their support for all victims, saying, We support all victims. We have done this historically through all our work, and will continue to do so in the future. They explained that they had been approached by Masterson's family to write character letters that represented the person they had known for 25 years. They clarified that the letters were not intended to challenge the legal system or the validity of the verdict and were certainly not meant to re-traumatize the victims. Kunis added, Our heart goes out to every single person who has ever been a victim of sexual assault, sexual abuse, or rape. Masterson was found guilty of the crimes, which occurred in 2003, after several days of jury deliberation. A third allegation against him did not result in a unanimous decision, and the charges were dismissed. During sentencing, the judge emphasized that Masterson's actions 20 years ago were criminal, and had taken away another person's choice and voice. We support victims. We have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. A couple months ago, Danny and Sammy reached out to us and they asked us to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years so that the judge could take that into full consideration relative to the sentencing hearing. The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling. They were intended for the judge to read um, and not to undermine the testimony of the victim or re-traumatize them in any way. We never want to do that. And we're sorry that that has taken place. Our heart goes out to every single person who's ever been a victim of sexual assault, sexual abuse, or rape.